Oh, you guys are here for the car reveal? As you guys can probably see, not in California anymore. Hey, get out of the water. There's bugs everywhere. All right, I'll show you guys what you want to see. So the car I'm looking at today is a 2005 Subaru WRX. Now I've never owned a Subaru. I've always loved the WRX chassis. Wish me luck, cross your fingers, here we go. All right, so it's a 2005 WRX, right? Yep. Last year, the Okay. Only did two years. So overall, exterior is in pretty good condition. Um, the roof has been wrapped. There's a little bit of sun fading, which is hard to see. Um, pretty much stock, as I said, it does have an exhaust. Um, it has the newer WRX wheels and Michelin Pilot Super Sports, I believe. Yep. So those are pretty new. So it has parent inlet pipe, yeah, turbo. turbo inlet pipe. Uh, looks like a little Mishimoto coupler here. Stock intercooler and stock blow off valve. Um, it has a cob pulley down there. Recently replaced a water pump, timing belt, and all that. And I can already feel the AC's working, so that's good. That's good. A few moments later. <laughs> the deed is done. Just got deposit money for the car. Woo -hoo -hoo. Finally, we own a WRX. So exciting. I'm going to meet back up with the owner now. Give him the deposit. He's got to get the car smogged, and then we will meet up, and I'll show you guys the entire thing. We'll do a full walk around and everything. We got it, baby! All right, so let me give you a little bit of rundown of the deal. Um, I just gave the seller a deposit for the car right now. He's got to go get a smog check. Now, if you guys are not familiar, California, it's actually the seller's responsibility to provide the smog check and the paperwork and you need that in order to get the car registered. So the plan is right now, he's gonna get either smog check today or tomorrow morning and then we will meet back up with him, give him the rest of the cash for the car and it'll be ours. Now, the crazy thing is, is we're under a bit of a time crunch here because I'm actually going out of town. We actually leave town on Sunday in case you guys haven't heard, the entire Hunt Porter's Throttle crew is heading to New York City for AutoCon. So that is on July 8th. It's in downtown New York City. I don't know if it's Manhattan or what. I think it's called Pier 94. Um, AutoCon is a huge, awesome event. We just did one in LA. Let's do a little recap of the LA AutoCon event. Uh, the doors are about to open right now. And we're here at the Throttle booth, the Legends booth, and the Hunt & Co booth. Uh, the love out in SoCal is so real. Every time we come out here, it's always a good time and the cars here are amazing. So, shout out to Evan for letting me take over the camera. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, right? Almost at 100K, let's go. Here it is guys, we got it. Can speak a little bit more freely now. The car is officially ours. Woo! Woo! Deal is done, here it is right here in the garage. 2005 Blah Bye WRX, 135,000 miles, clean title. It has a Pro Drive exhaust. It has the newer WRX wheels with new calipers and rotors, front and rear Michelin Pilot Super Sports. On the inside, so it's got a nice little alarm system here. It's got a, so inside it has the STI door panels. Now, this one does have a little stain here, but I think I can remove it. It's the blue suede 
Um, it definitely just needs a thorough cleaning, but I'm pretty sure I can salvage those. It has STI floor mats, and it has, and it has a JDM STI steering wheel, which is really nice. Um, down here, it has a Carboy short shifter. Feels really good. Pretty notchy, but really direct, so I really like that. Um, other than that, interior is completely stock. So what we were looking for in our next project car was something that was not too modded already. We have a lot of cool stuff in store for this, and I can't wait to share it with you guys. In the hood, we have an EJ20. This is the original motor and transmission with a couple of simple bolt-ons, but nothing too crazy. We have the parent turbo inlet pipe, and uh, looks like a Cobb underdrive pulley, but other than that, everything is stock. So that is good. That's a great starting point. But here it is, boys. Here's the full walk around. So I definitely need your help, guys. This is my first Subaru, never owned a Subaru before, and I wanna know what you guys think. What should we do to this car? What type of suspension should we run? You know, what type of mod should we do? I, I'm probably thinking that I'll do a downpipe and a tune, something like that, um, at first. And then, should we slam it? Should we get airbags? I wanna hear from you guys in the comments section below. That really does help, and I do read the comments. That is pretty much all the time I have for you guys today. If you like this project, please remember to subscribe, smash that like button. We'll see you guys in the next video.